We're asked to find the transformation matrix that will transform the unit square shown in green to the quadrilateral shown in blue. This is an example of a linear transformation in R2, and therefore we can find the two by two transformation matrix by determining the transformation of the vector E sub one and the transformation of the vector E sub two. The transformation of the vector E sub one will be the first column of the transformation matrix, and the transformation of the vector E sub two will be the second column. So let's begin by determining the transformation of the vector E sub one which is the transformation of the vector one zero. Going to the graph, notice how the vector one zero is this vector along the side of the unit square, the side along the x-axis. The transformation of this vector is the vector that forms the corresponding side of the blue quadrilateral, which is this longer vector along the x-axis, the vector four zero. The transformation of the vector one zero is the vector four zero. And now let's find the transformation of the vector E sub two, which is the transformation of the vector zero one. Notice the vector zero one forms the side of the unit square along the y-axis, this vector here. The transformation of this vector is a vector that forms the corresponding side to the blue quadrilateral, which is this longer vector along the y-axis, the vector zero three. The transformation of the vector zero one is the vector zero three. And now we have what we need to find the transformation matrix. If we call the transformation matrix matrix A, matrix A will be a two by two matrix, the first column is the transformation of the vector E sub one, and therefore the first column is four zero. The second column is a transformation of the matrix E sub two. The second column is zero three. So this is what the question is asking us to find. The transformation matrix. If we want to check this, remember, we can think of vectors as points, where the point would be at the terminal point of the vector in a standard position. So if we took the transformation matrix and multiplied by the point or vector one one, which we can think of as this point here, we should get the corresponding point on the blue quadrilateral, which would be this point here, the point four three. And let's just go ahead and check this. So we'll multiply by the point one one. And if we multiply we get four times one plus zero times one, which is four. And if the second entry we have zero times one plus three times one, which is three, we do get the corresponding point four three after the transformation. I hope you found this helpful.